Hey everyone, this is Alan from BMW Durham, back again with another video. We have another new arrival. It's the 2024 BMW M440i X-Drive Grand Coupe Legacy Edition in Brooklyn Gray Metallic with the Takora Red Interior. All right, so this is the 2024 BMW M440i X-Drive Grand Coupe Legacy Edition in Brooklyn Gray Metallic. When you get the Brooklyn Gray Metallic, this always comes paired with the uh, Takora Red Vernoska leather. And of the 300 units available, there are 75 in this configuration. So that is pretty awesome. Um, if you haven't watched some of my other videos, I will mention again that in Canada, we are unable to get the gas powered 4 Series Grand Coupe unless it's a special edition such as this one. Or back in 2022, we had the individual edition, which was a similar idea. So this one is the legacy edition, because otherwise we can only get this car in Canada as an I-4. So it's very special when we can get our hands on this chassis with an internal combustion engine. So why don't we go ahead and look at all the details. So we've got Brooklyn Gray Metallic. We're just going down the hood across these lines, but you can see right away this gray in the shade looks very different than this gray in the sun, which uh, just shows how much depth there is into this paint. We have the rondelle up front. We have the one piece kidney grill with uh, black exterior contents. The little accents on the face here are still in cerium gray. And we have the shadow line uh, BMW LED headlights they aren't actually blinking like that it's just the way the camera is picking that up and we've got air ducts down here that are functional you can see right through there all blacked out so overall that looks really good front end is slightly different on the Grand Coupe than the Coupe but it's barely noticeable unless you put them side by side and examine them and another nice addition to this legacy edition. <laughs> so we have the 20 inch double spoke 862 individual wheels. So right here on this spoke, you can see that it says individual. And of course we've got that red M Sport brake. So this setup looks really nice. And uh, I believe with this setup, there is uh, 245 on the front and I think 255 on the rear we have M badging on the fender we have that little design element on the lower part of the fender with that black strip that goes all the way underneath both doors we have the blacked out M wing mirrors so that looks really nice we have new style door handles with comfort access on front and rear we have black window surrounds. Windows look like they're tinted to 35%. Panoramic sunroof up top. New style antenna. There's that rear 20 inch. And that is a 255 on the rear, as I thought. There's that rear red M Sport brake caliper. We have black trunk lid spoiler. So very M Sport Pro. There's my shadow, sorry. <laughs> Just gonna press unlock here so we can get the tail lights back on. Tail lights look great. We have the horizontal reflectors on each side with the freeform exhaust, rear diffusers here, my shaggy hair shadow, <laughs> rondelle right over here, right inside of the uh, the rear, uh, or sorry, the back of camera is right inside the rondelle, M440i badging. I'm going to kick under foot underneath, underneath the car so we can get that to open. Once that opens up, cargo cover up here, cargo cover down here, front plate bracket, I hope it stays back here. We have carpeted floor mats, plastic storage bin on one side, light to help us see what's going on in here. This side we have netted area, tire inflator kit. And down here, there's a panel that I can pull off. And there's the tow hook and the wheel lock key. So everything is as it should be. And when we're done with whatever we're doing back here, there's a button up top to close, another one to close and lock. And there's a little compartment here for other markets where they may keep uh, first aid things and 
uh, safety triangles and whatnot. So let me just go ahead and take my foot underneath the car so we can get that to close hands-free. And then we can move the shot away from my shadow. <laughs> so on the passenger side, we have the fuel cap door connected to the central locking system, pressed on nine o'clock, got that open, it's 91 octane. Now, once we get inside, so there is the Takora Red Vernasca leather interior, nice soft touch materials up top. We have nice stitching going across the door, Harman Kardon sound system. And there's those beautiful Takora Red seats back here. I like that they put a speaker right there, release levers on the shoulders, headrest flip up or down, armrest in the center with cup holders, pass through through the center here as well. Up top, we've got reading lights. We have a handle on each side with a coat hanger. Nuts uh, on the back of each front seat. Rear climate controls with heated seats in the two outer positions. Two USB Type-C charging ports down here. And there's some vents over here as well. And what we can do next is let's go open the front passenger door. Okay, so if I open up this door here, we have Harman Kardon sound system. We've got some galvanic controls here. Soft touch material at the top. Nice, soft, supple leather down here. Vernasca leather. Aluminum M door sill. Full power seat with lumbar. I'm just gonna lower that. We have manual under the thigh extension here. Manually adjustable headrests, just like so. Forwards, backwards, up, down. And the seats look awesome. Carbon fiber interior trim, nice ambient light just going across the bottom here. Open that up, illuminated glove box, nice stitching across the dash, iDrive 8, and down here, so we do have a wireless charger in there, USB type A, cup holders, 12 volt plug, more carbon fiber, and in there, USB type C charging port, it is also illuminated in there. Let's go open the door on the driver's side next. All right, let's open the door from the driver's side. So once we open that door, you'll see we have Harman Kardon. We have galvanic controls. Memory seats are right in there. All your window controls, side mirror controls. That side, reverse passenger side mirror tilts down. This side, passenger side mirror does nothing in reverse. Tailgate release down there. You can also close it with the key inside the car by pulling and holding that. Full power seat with lumbar and side bolster. So that's one of the dead giveaways of the Vernosca leather when you see this here. Another nice shot of both seats. Panoramic sunroof opening. We have another little ambient light strip there. Exterior lighting controls. We have a release lever underneath here so you can tilt and telescope the steering column position like so. Signal stock, so you've got uh, indicators that blink three times, board computer that changes the trip computer information in iDrive 8, and we've got uh, automatic high beams here. M Sport steering wheel, M at six o'clock, heated steering wheel button, nice uh, leather stitch on the, uh, the airbag cover. Radio controls are over here, and I'm just gonna grab a seat in here real quick. So, there's the car there, shut the door, and let's just take a look real quick. So we have 360 cam with automatic parking and 50 meter memory for backup assistant. Let's just take a look. So that looks really nice. There's also a car wash view to help you get into the car wash. And we have also, let's just get out of this for a second. And let's just double check. So we don't have uh, anything beyond just regular cruise control here. And in terms of safety and warnings, forward collision mitigation, lane departure warning at speeds above 70 with steering intervention, blind spot detection at speeds above 20, fatigue alert asking you to take a break at two hours, speed warning if you want a uh, warning when you reach a certain speed and the car tells you about the speed limits with a graphical representation if you're speeding and why don't we go ahead and pop the hood so we can take a look 
at what powers this beautiful beast. So down here, one, two, So we don't have to find anything underneath here, we just lift it up, and there it is, the beautiful B58, three liter inline six, twin power turbo, 382 horsepower, 369 foot-pounds of torque, positive battery terminal is here, negative battery terminal is here, washer fluid is way over here, don't put Rain X in there, it's gonna clog up your system. Overall, really nicely appointed engine bay, let me know in the comments below what you think of the 4 Series Grand Coupe with the V58 in there. Okay, so before we conclude the video, I'm just going to do one more lap all the way around the car. Let me get some pathway lighting on for you. So that's what the low beams would look like. I think this looks really good without the front plate bracket. 20 inch wheels on here, really dress it up as well. Like, Just take a look at this side profile. And definitely the back also looks really nice. So let me know in the comments below what you think of this spec. And this is of course again one of 300. So there are 75 black with black Vernosca leather, 75 mineral white with black Vernosca leather, 75 Brooklyn gray with Decora red Vernosca leather. And then we've got the three options with the merino leather that come in 25 each. So there is uh, violet, or yeah, violet blue, no, velvet blue. There is Aurora diamond green, and there's Emola red. And all three of those come with different color merino leathers. Uh, I'd like to see the Emola red, to be honest. Let me know in the comments below which one you'd like to see. Alright everyone, so that was my tour of this beautiful 2024 BMW M440i X-Drive Grand Coupe Legacy Edition in Brooklyn Grey with the Decora Red Vernosca leather inside. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this spec. If you like the car, if you like the video, if you like me, make sure you like, share and subscribe. We'll have the pricing information in the description below. Sorry though, this one is sold. Congratulations Sanjeev, great car. Um, Follow me on Instagram for more updates. It's at BMW, uh, sorry, at Allen BMW Durham. Other than that, uh, I'd like to know where you're watching this from in the world, because that's really interesting to me. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.